What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We only have a few days left in Japan. Our last trip we actually didn't get to check out to the Osaka Castle when we were in Osaka. So thought we'd swing by really quick in the morning. I don't think we're gonna go inside, just gonna snap a few shots uh, outside. Because we have a lot of things to do today. Gotta hit the Pokemon Center in Osaka as well. And then go to Denden Town and do some anime shopping. And finish off the day in Dotonbury. Let's try to see if we can hit up that all you can eat Kobe beef spot. But no, that's cool. Actually, I, I didn't realize the Osaka Castle was this big. Obviously, it's surrounded by a moat, which I knew about, but there's a bunch of other little buildings around here. There's actually even a hotel, literally to my left right here. This castle is way bigger than I had expected in person. But, anyways, let's get this vlog started. <laughs> Is it similar to? It looks kind of different from the one that we ate last time, though. No, that one's bigger. Is it? This one looks kind of like neon yellow inside. Um, it's good. Mm -hmm. well, the cool thing about temples is there's a bunch of little food spots here, and so we got a little bit of sweet potato. It's like sweet potato fries, basically, but like wedges, because they're obviously, as you can see, really big pieces. But let's try it. It's pretty good. It's a little, um, it's very starchy and powdery. All right, it's pretty good. Um, I can see this being really filling, so it's probably it's good for sharing. I wouldn't uh, eat the whole thing myself because there's usually so much street food that um, you definitely want to try everything. So make sure to share some food with everybody so you can eat everything. Pokemon Center, did a little bit more shopping over there. Super hungry, but we're gonna wait until tonight to really grub. But in the meantime, we're gonna go with some Melon Pond because we're super craving that right now, and we're actually not that far away from a couple of Melon Pond spots. Goose is already grubbing. It's not warm like the other one, but you know, still good. You think the other one's better? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it was a soft serve too. Oh, okay. Soft serve is a game changer. So we're here at this Melon Pond spot. It's called a freshly baked Melon Pond. The one that we went to the other day is called World's Second Best Melon Pond. I'm not sure which one the first best one is, but uh, this one's different. It's a little bit more crunchy, but instead of using regular fresh, like creamy ice cream, they're using soft serve. To be honest, I like the other one better because I don't know, soft serve just doesn't taste the same uh, inside a melon pond. I like the more creamy ice cream because, you know, obviously soft serve and creamy ice cream are completely different. So I recommend uh, World's Best, World's Second Best Melon Pond. Uh, versus this spot, just in my personal opinion, unless you think soft serve works better in Melon Pond. Uh, we're here over in uh, Dotonbury, about to do uh, all you can eat. Not gonna film that much because we only have about an hour to eat, but boys are already over here grubbing. Me and Alicia just got here, so we're gonna get served shortly. I'll do what I can. So we just finished up our dinner over here in Dotonbury. It's all you can eat. Kobe beef, Kobe beef, but it was very thin slices, so, uh, and they're different tiers, so we got the, the cheapest tier, which is 3,800 yen. The marbling wasn't as good, but you, you can see in the store when you walk in all the different levels, and as you go up the different tiers, there's way more marbling, and they time you. So it's an hour time limit, but it's kind of false, because they only give you 40 minutes until last order. So, and they have a timer on the table. So they technically only give you 40 minutes to order. You can sit there for a little longer to eat, but you only get 40 minutes to order, which is why I was aggressively eating super fast. I wouldn't say it would be worth it to be honest because 3,800 yen was kind of a lot and it was just kind of like yakiniku, just maybe a little bit higher quality. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't have really noticed. Yeah, you have to go up a higher tier for the good one. Yeah, I would definitely say if you go up a higher tier, uh, it would be probably more worth it for the beef. But also, I think if the slices are really thin, I don't know if 
if this would be that good, because I think Kobe beef is good in like thick, like steak size slices. Well, not steak size slices, but you know, a whole steak that you cut into slices, not very thin slices. I mean, at least I have a little bit of alone time today, because Kia is leaving today, and Julius has a little date night uh, over at Osaka Castle, so there at least is. We're just gonna walk around No Tom Berry, check it out, maybe grab some dessert, and see what else is open, because it's still kinda early. It's only about 6.30, so I'm gonna go maybe find some dessert. We have a cheese tart from Pablo. A cheese tart from Pablo. Yeah, this, I think it's caramel. I was wrong. No? That's peach jam. Oh. So you can have that. You don't want that on there? Okay, I'll put some on mine. Yeah, the vanilla ice cream. That jam's pretty good though. Quit eating my jam. Mm. Oh, crunchy. Wow, it's really soft. Yeah, it looks fluffy. Wow, crunchy. Whoa. Oh, look at that. So fluffy. I put peach jam on mine, at least I do not. I actually preferably like it better with the jam. Very fragrant. It tastes just like a pureed peach, pretty much. Yeah. So this place over here at Pablo was where we just ate at. Definitely uh, check it out, it's really good. I thought it was gonna be the little cheese tarts, but they're actually way bigger. Uh, they have like this crust that was kind of hard to break through, but delicious overall. They have different jams that you can put on top, so we ended up getting the peach one. Definitely check it out if you're in Doton Burry. It's just right here near the intersection with H&M, uh, uh, the Glee Command, and the bridge and all that. All right guys, it's been a long day, and we still got a long commute back. We're still in Osaka, and we're staying in Kyoto. Everybody else in our Airbnb is already asleep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. Until next time, peace.